Now we're going to talk about how we can tell if we're symmetric with respect to the y-axis. So what that means, if we look at the y-axis, remember our vertical axis, if you folded it along the y-axis, it would match up. So another way of saying that graphically is that points with the same y value have x values that are opposite. Okay, now points with the same y value, that means if we drew a horizontal line, all the points have the same y value. So we're saying here, this point on that line and this point have the same x values except one is positive and one is negative. Now algebraically, if we're just looking at the function without looking at the graph, we can tell it's symmetric with respect to the y-axis if replacing x with negative x gives us the same thing, okay? So here we're going to look at the graph of y equals x squared plus 1. So that's what this parabola is. And it says fill in the table. If we have x, so if we have y equals x squared plus 1, well, if we plugged in 5 for y and solve for x, the first thing we would do would be subtract 1 from both sides. So we'd have 4 equals x squared. And when we take the square root of both sides, we get plus or minus. So we're going to get x equals plus or minus the square root of 4, which is 2. So 2 and negative 2. So what that's saying, and let me erase some of this here, is that if we go over to 2 and negative 2, this is at 2, 5, and this is at negative 2, 5. So when you have an x value just negative, you have the same y value. Now, how we will tell if a function is symmetric with respect to the x-axis without graphing it is wherever there's an x, we're going to plug in negative x. So we'd have y equals negative x squared plus 1. Now, negative x squared is the same as negative x times negative x. Well, when we take negative 1 times negative 1, we just get 1. And x times x is x squared. So it simplifies to the same thing. And that's how we can tell it's symmetric with respect to the x-axis. Sorry, y-axis.